So if you've landed here on this channel, you might be wondering what is the capture visualizer and honestly, why do I care? So if you've watched any of the Learn Stage Lighting videos, uh, by the way, I'm David from Learn Stage Lighting and Above AVL. We use this visualizer to be able to switch between different stages and show you how lights work on them. And that is one of the few really good use cases for the capture visualizer. And I want to walk through the other few in this video and then continue to watch the rest on our channel as you get acquainted and you'll be able to learn more about capture and of course get it from us above AVL and we're in stage lighting gear. So capture is basically a 3D visualization tool. I'm just going to go here. This is the screen that launches every time you start capture. And you can always start a new project. I'm going to open up a project that I've had for years that we've used. Hope this is the right one. Nope, this is an old one. <laughs> so let's go to, uh, so go to this church tutorial. It's a cool one. That's fine. So it's a 3D program, right? Where you can turn on this render screen and then there's kind of two ways you can utilize it in terms of, you know, day-to-day -day use, okay? Really three, I guess. One is, you know, as you can see, it's essentially a CAD type program, right? A computer aided drafting for lighting design. And so you can lay things out here and build designs and drawings for events if you do this, especially if you do this professionally. It's not, CAD is not its number one thing. If you're, if you're a heavy CAD user and that's your primary use, you probably want to do a different program. Not that it's bad, it's just not as optimized for CAD drawing as other software. Um, but it can do it. And you can, in fact, go and if you go into the uh, reports section, the, the plots or reports, you can actually build plots in here. And they're actually really cool because you can pull them up and you can add whatever you need to in here. So you just add different views. You know, you can add reports of what fixtures are. You can do your symbol keys, rearrange everything and, and do a printout even on a full size plotter. So there's a lot of great stuff you can do there in terms of CAD work. Um, again, if you do a lot of heavy CAD, there's better programs for it, but it can do it well. Where Capture really excels is in the visualization, right? So here in 3D, there's kind of two ways that I can work with this 3D space and with these lights uh, in order to work with them. You know, the first and kind of what I consider the primary for me, but not for everybody else, is to program with a console, right? So here in my Universes tab, I can connect up, for example, to Onyx or any of the other consoles we talk about on Learn Stage Lighting. Um, because all you need to do is send an ARTNET or an SACN signal to it. You send that network DMX, and now you're able to control and program these lights just like any other light, just like you're in front of a whole rig of lights, but without setting that up. So you can pre-program for events that are coming up, or maybe you just want to program from home. We have people, especially like church lighting people and tech directors, who sometimes want to program from home. Other times we have churches that hire remote programmers and they just want to send a file to that programmer. They can program on their own time and then maybe hop on a webcam or something and check stuff in the room, but you can program from miles away with that. Okay, so it's really cool. The other usage of the 3D visualization is as a sales tool, to be honest. Um, if you work in live production, whether you're just running a small event company to something larger, using visualizations like this allow you to mock up in 3D an exact design for a customer and then be able to show them some different things they can do. For example, when I don't have DMX connected, as I don't right now, I can literally grab any of my lights here, okay, or other stuff, oops, grab any of my lights, I'll do it in this overhead, and then I've got this little power button. When I hit that, I'm able to control these lights and they're grouped by type. So I can literally go and I can adjust the tilt here, right? I could change the color, this is a mixing. And you can build whatever you need basically as a sales tool. You can even go and if you right click on things, see that? you now focus the lights. It's a really quick, really great way that you're able to just kind of mock things up for customers. Now, while we're here, before we wrap up, if you are considering Capture, there are four editions, Solo, One Universe, Duet, Two, Quartet, 
four universes or symphony unlimited. Okay. You can upgrade freely between them. You can always upgrade to a higher version for really no more cost than it would have been to buy the two versions separately. And so if you are using it as a sales tool, just keep in mind that if you use solo, you can only patch one universe of fixtures. Now you can still bring in more fixtures and control them, but you're not gonna be able to do things like save project snapshots, which allow you to kind of save scenes and recall them later. So it can take a little more time. Um, so whatever version you're using, you, you generally do wanna get the version that has enough universes for what you typically do. Again, you can always upgrade later, but that's what Capture is and that's what it does. And on this channel, we'll be going into it more and more. So. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and so you can check the latest and everything we've got here. And of course, when you need a capture license or any other AVL gear, learn stage lighting gear and aboveavl.com are your place. So check it out. We'd love to help you on your next project. Thanks.